Hello, Jennifer Tochi here. And it's Tuesday. So, top two Tuesday. Yes. From the Horror Man. Yes. You have to pick your top two horror movies from that year. And this year is 1979. Gonna give you piece of advice though about if you wanna own this shirt, this wolf shirt. <laughs> Do not wear it to a horror movie. <laughs> because uh it'll it'll scare somebody. <laughs> Cause I found out when I wore it that <laughs> these glow in the dark. <laughs> These eyes glow in the dark. <laughs> the lady thought I had brought... The lady that it scared her had thought I had brought... Uh, that I had snuck a wolf into the theater. Oh, my goodness. That was such a long time ago. It was a scary movie, but... I said, ma'am, this is a shirt... I'm not going to bring a wolf into the theater. Be real. <laughs> yes, you can tell by that be real thing that I've had this shirt for a long time. Yes. Um, yes, so 1979. Two favorite movies from this time. Um, number two, I think a lot of people might pick, hmm, Taurus Trap, yes, good old-fashioned slasher, yeah, good old-fashioned slasher movie, yes, it's, it's people's masks that they wear, used to scare the living poo out of me, yes, they did. Even though they were regular masks with slits cut on them, you know? It's amazing. When I first watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, I felt the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I felt like, oh, poor Leatherface, he needs a hug. He's He's disturbed. He needs a hug. But when, when I watch Taurus Trap, I go, Ew! Ew! These guys are gross! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Taurus Trap, yes. It's one of those good old-fashioned... Let's get stuck in the middle... In the middle of nowhere. And go to a museum of mannequins. And, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid teenagers. Yes. Let's go hide behind the chainsaws, not jump into the car. Yeah. Thank you, Geico. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then my number one is a thriller slash horror movie. Yes. Oh, yes, um, stars Carol Kane, yeah, with her mousy little voice, <laughs> um, yes, but you can always, t you could always tell when you watch Carol Kane, like, there's, there's something under that mousy little voice of hers that could fight back if she needed to. Watch an office killer, and you'll find out what's underneath that. <laughs> but, um, when a stranger calls, 1979, yes. Carol King is a babysitter, babysitting some kids. And she keeps getting strange, scary phone calls. And she calls the police. And, and, they, she calls the police to tell them that she's getting all these phone calls. 
and I love it the the end the end of the movie. Spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen this movie, I'm about to give a spoiler. I love how at the end of the movie they say, "Ma'am, ma'am." I'll pr I'm probably saying it wrong. The calls are coming from inside the house. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> what is the the follow-up movie to this when a stranger calls again was it worth watching it was okay to watch but this movie is a movie I love and you know you can't remake perfection, which is what I think when a stranger calls it. There. I got that off my chest now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's my two for Tuesday. Everybody have a nice day. And no, I did not sneak a wolf into my house with glowing eyes. Goodbye.